In other news tonight, a 20 year old man was shot and killed on the campus of Southern University of New Orleans. His identity hasn't been released. Erica Ferrando tells us what we know so far. It was right around midnight. Mariah Henry says she had just gotten off work at a pizza parlor. She was taking an RTA bus and saw police on Southern University at New Orleans campus. So she shot this cell phone video. I see a bunch of police cars everywhere. Henry is not a student. She was a visitor on campus. She didn't know what was going on until later Sunday. Man, I was like, once I found out who the, the student was and who that person was, I'm like, hold up, this person's connected to Talladega, the whole Talladega family, and I'm like, man, let me, let me hurry up. And I seen on Facebook everything. According to Suno, a 20 year old man was killed in one of the businesses in the small business incubator building. He was not a student or employee of the university. Spaces in the incubator are rented out and are not affiliated with the school. She was a part of the band. Um, everybody in that area in that band is very familiar with him. And of course, my little brother, He's familiar with him as well. While Henry says her brother knew the victim from playing in school bands, we are not releasing his name since police have not confirmed it with us. He basically said, like, it's really, it's really crazy. Like, all this violence going on. And Henry tells us the victim was known for playing in the Talladega College Band in Alabama. I know they got to be hurt by it. A suspect surrendered, according to Suno. 20-year-old Andrew Gant was arrested in connection with the incident. He's being charged with negligent homicide and obstruction of justice. This violence has got to stop, for real. Because at only 20 years old, one man lost his life. And according to Henry, there are many, many people who now miss him. In New Orleans, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. The suspect is being charged with negligent homicide, which is the killing of someone without malice, so it could be a result of recklessness. Police said the victim was shot, but haven't released details about what led to his death.